Welcome back, my friends. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a rainbow gradient. So let's get started. All right, so this is uh, the image that uh, I am referring to. Um, it's appeared in um, our Facebook group and um, it's got um, a rainbow text with a butterfly um, just floating up to on top. And we're, we're going to reproduce this uh, image for you during this tutorial. So I'm going to bring up uh, my Canva. Here it is right here. But I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to start from scratch. All right, so here is my page. Now I'm going to go down and scroll down to my left to apps. And in the white search bar, I'm going to type gradient. And it's going to come up with all of the gradient apps. Um, so this is the one you're looking for. It's called type gradient. And um, what you'll get in here is you'll get a uh, box where you can type in your text. And so in here, I'm going to type in uh, hump day. And um, for the font, a font called Yok Pusa, this one. Um, that seemed like a really fun font for me to use that day. <laughs> um, so here is uh, my text right here, but you'll notice that it's got some preset gradients. Now, before we get to the colors, I um, just want to explain here the alignment. We've got alignment to the left, center alignment, and alignment to the right. Um, so basically, you decide um, what alignment uh, you want to uh, use. Now, uh, I have it on one line. I'm going to to have it on two lines, but now you notice that it's aligned to the left and that doesn't really look too good. So I'm going to come back up here to alignment and I'm going to select center alignment. Now, um, the next thing that you need to do if you want a rainbow gradient is you need to add more colors in here. So um, what um, I did for that is I started with this one here and I came to the red and then I added um, another color uh, in the middle and I came uh, down over here. Um, for this one, I came to the middle. I added another one here and I came there. And then this one, I just adjusted it to here. Um, and so that's my gradient. And now you'll see that um, right now it's showing the the colors in order from top to bottom. And what you can do just to rearrange that is you can um, adjust that by moving these two um, circles. So when you move it um, to the left, what ends up happening is um, you've got um, part of it, um, you're creating like a middle section starting from here and then working their way all the way down to here. Um, you can also do the reverse and have it start from the other end and then make its way down uh, this way. So you've got the orange, yellow, green, and then the purple. So it's, you know, it's up to your preference how you want to do this. Um, so when you are happy with adjusting the color scheme there, you can come down here and you can say add to design and here it is. Okay. Now for the butterfly, um, what I did is I came up to elements and I searched for a butterfly. 
and I went into videos and um, I searched for a butterfly that was um, sitting on a flower and so let me see if I can uh, find that butterfly I believe this that's similar to the one that I used so um, here it is and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to edit video and I'm going to remove the background okay so here it is and I'm just going to make that a tad bit smaller and I'm going to put it in here okay so let's see what that looks like now okay there it is okay but it kind of looks strange because um, we've got a little bit flickering here and we've got the flower here so let's fix that okay so I'm just gonna crop that a little bit like that and I'm gonna just um, rotate that a little bit and I'm gonna push the video to the back and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into elements and I'm gonna search for some white shadows uh, so let's go in here and let's see if we can find uh, something like that. Um, okay, let's change that to white. And let's just make that smaller a little bit. And let's duplicate that. And there. So you can duplicate that as many times as you need to. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these shadows behind the text hump day, but before the butterfly, if that makes sense. So I'm going to come to layers. I'm going to select all my shadows and I'm going to move them in behind. Okay, uh, now let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that's how I did the butterfly. Okay, and then I added a um, book here. And um, oh, the other thing that I did too is I added a shadow um, to that. So in order to do that, um, what I did was I just made a copy of that copy. And I pasted it here and and I downloaded it just that um, page just that last page so just um, the current page six and um, I only want I want to download it as a PNG okay so I'm going to download that and I'm going to uh, bring that into my design here I am going to, I guess, remove the background. I should have downloaded it as a, uh, tr with a transparent background, but um, I didn't. Um, in any case, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that back up here and I'm gonna try and align it. I'm just gonna crop it a little bit, but I'm gonna try and align it. Uh, or it doesn't have to be like that rainbow um, color but um, it can be black but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a shadow I'm going to try and line it up and I'm going to apply a um, shadow um, to it okay so I'm going to send that to the back all the way to the back um, or maybe in front of the butterfly I'm going to go to edit photo because now it's a photo and I'm going to go to shadows and I'm going to create a drop shadow. Okay. Now I might need to reposition that. Um, it just depends. Um, but, um, the size of the shadow, I'll just make that a little bit bigger. And now let's see if I can, um, reposition Okay, and that's basically how you have to you'll you'll need to play with it a little bit um, to get that to um, to work 
and um, so I'm just going to bring this back up to here um, so that it is in front of those white shadows. But that's how I created the shadow um, in my original image there. Um, let's just take a look at that video one more time. So here it is. Okay, so I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to be the first to be notified of when new content comes out. For now, my friends, I'll say goodbye. Until next time.